well <laughs> how do i answer this one Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Marie here from Just Live Your Thoughts. I hope you guys are doing good amidst the outbreak, amidst what's happening around the world. Today, guys, I'm finally going to be able to do our February Q&A. I know that it's like the middle of March now, like the middle of the month now. And I know that this video is long overdue. It's just that it's been a really, really hard, I guess, situation for me, for us. Um, not that, you know, we are in a really, really horrible situation right now. It's just that, of course, you really can't get your mind into it because you start to think of what's happening around the world in Italy and you know my mind is also back home in the Philippines so it's not that easy at all but you know we will slowly get there we will slowly recover from what's happening but yep guys before the month ends I just wanted to do this Q&A because I promised this for you guys I really really want to apologize if this is delayed and of course we will also have our March Q&A which I will request for you guys to send in your questions through YouTube and Instagram so without further ado guys, I'm going to start off in no particular order, but I'm actually going to start off asking the questions in our YouTube. Yeah, in our YouTube, in my YouTube channel. So sorry if I look a little bit orangey, it's not any filter or anything, it's just that the sun is setting right now. I'll show you guys real quick. Yeah, so the sun is setting right now, so the sun is like right on my face. So, so like I said guys, I'm not gonna go in any particular order, but I'm definitely gonna start with our YouTube questions. So we're gonna start off with our first question from Chanda Green. I know that Chanda Green is one of my regular viewers. <laughs> She usually comments in my videos, so I know that she's watching. So thank you for keeping up with us or keeping up with me. And her question is, what do you love most about living in Italy? What do I love most? That's actually a good question because Italy is a really, really beautiful country. It is indeed a beautiful country. And I think that you can go to a lot of places here in Italy and the view is just amazing. Like you just go outside our balcony and the view is just breathtaking, right? But what do I love most about Italy, I guess? would be food definitely like the food in italy is just amazing yeah i guess the places the scenery and you know just places here in italy is just amazing so thank you for sending in your question shanda let's move on to our next question which is from Anne manzan and her question is question question is in tagalog so i'm just gonna i'll try my best to translate it if i can yung documents ba na pinasa mo nung nag apply ka ng visa yung galing sa habi mo are all written italian okay so she asked in english i'll try my best to translate this okay um she asked if all the documents that i passed to the embassy when i applied for the visa that were marco's documents uh, were they all written in italian so if i can remember really well um it's been almost two years my memory isn't so great i remember that we passed the marriage certificate from the commune here in italy so that would have been in italian yes to answer your question i guess yeah there were documents that were in italian and i don't think you have to worry about that from what i know okay um and i don't know if there are any changes on that i guess it would be best to call the embassy to inquire as well from what i know there's no problem with that because it's the italian embassy so yeah they would understand italian but like i said it would be best if you could ask the italian embassy as well so our next question is from chrissy connected so if you guys don't know who chrissy is <laughs> if you guys don't know who chrissy is chrissy is my bestie she's in spain and i've had her in two of my vlogs so i'll leave the link up here if you guys want to see our vlogs and her question is what is the most beautiful thing about italy apart from you of course <laughs> well <laughs> how do i answer this one i'm kidding so christina um i guess the most beautiful thing about italy would be hmm, let me think i think that the most beautiful thing about italy are really the places i'm really in awe when i see something like so beautiful let's say for example when i saw the vatican when i saw the duomo in um, milan i was like wow like it really really amazes me so i think that is one of the most beautiful thing about italy and of course like i said food and also how families here are just like very very close with each other and our next question is from Jang Apolinar Apolinar her question is kumuha ka ba ng travel insurance so her question is if I got if I got 
if I got in, if I got, if I was able to get any travel insurance or if I had to get a travel insurance. So it really depends, I guess, but I'll answer the situations, okay? So I got the travel insurance when I was applying for a tourist visa before I was married to Marco because that is a requirement from the embassy. When we were married and I was applying the tourist visa, but as a wife of an Italian, no, I did not need a travel insurance. But I think you can if you want because of course it's your insurance travel insurance but is it required once you're married to an italian no it's not required i didn't have to get it i don't know though if that's still the case so like i've been saying it would be best if you ask also the embassy so our next question is from G G Jairik. G Jairik. She asked two questions. The first question is, what are the requirements for permesso di soggiorno if married to an Italian citizen? And is it still the same from the video you posted last year? Well, that's actually a really, really good question because obviously I only applied this permesso di soggiorno only last year, so I wouldn't know if there are any changes. Just to give you an idea of what I did pass, I had all of my documents with me. I have everything in one folder and I just brought it with me. But from what I can and remember the only thing that they requested from me was my passport and also our marriage certificate and her next question is nagaaral po ba kayo ng italian words when you got there or nagaaral po ba kayo ng italian words when you got there if i learned any italian words when i got here and to answer your question no <laughs> Not like once I got here. I didn't really think of needing to actually learn the language, which was kind of selfish for me, I must admit. But I guess if you were to come here or if you're about to come here and you are thinking about the language would be a problem. Yes, majority of the Italians don't speak in Italian in, Italian, in English. If I could talk to, to me, like maybe a year ago or two years ago, I would tell her, learn Italian before you come to Italy because it will really, really help, especially if you want to talk to your in-laws, Marco's friends and all that because yeah, it's hard if you don't know their language. And I hope you guys can still see me. I think it's getting dark. I'm just gonna turn on the light real quick. Okay. okay, so moving on, our next question is from Chanda Green and she asked, what is the monthly spending in Naples, including rent, food, transportation? Thanks in advance. Okay, so this one, Chanda, this one is a little hard for us or for me to answer because as you know, we kind of just work from home, so we don't really do transportation. But I would say rent and food wise, I don't know if I can answer that either because we don't really budget. If you were living just the two of you, let's say for example, houses like this, in a town like this, is quite cheap for a big house. If you guys don't know how big our house is, for two people it's quite big and if you want to know how big our house is or if you want to know what our house looks like, I will leave the link of our house tour that I did recently so that you guys have an idea. I would say, you know what, let's ask Marco, maybe he has an idea, but I assure you guys, he probably would not have any idea in there. So I'm not really sure to be honest, I really don't know, so. Next question guys is from Len Marfil and they ask, how do you know he's the one? So this one I've actually already answered, me and Marco already answered this question actually and uh, we had the same answer. <laughs> Let me answer that again, I'm more than happy to answer this again for you. You don't ever know, you will never know that someone is actually the one for you because you will actually feel that he's the one for you. It's not something that you know, like when I saw Marco, like I didn't know, it's something that I actually slowly i guess develop that oh my goodness i am feeling that he's really the one for me so you have to actually feel it knowing that the person is the one for you if you get what i mean next question is from zippy zippy and the question is tell us how you met so i've done a video about this already which i will leave the link up there if you guys want to know like a, like a full story of it but just to keep it short i guess or just a little summary of it we met through an online dating app called badu b-a-d-o-o -O, and that's how we met through an online dating app next question is from zippy zippy oh zippy zippy again and their question is i want to ask when I get married to an Italian, do I have to wait for the marriage to be transcribed to Italy to apply for a visa to go to Italy? And if I apply for the visa when married, should I apply for multiple entry or single entry visa? Um, like if you mean transcribed by let's say registered to Italy, like in their commune, wherever your husband is from, to apply for a visa to go to Italy, the answer would be yes. Because if, let's say, for example, you got married and then you requested for your marriage to be registered in Italy and then you applied for the visa, 
they will just give you a regular visa and not like a tourist visa but um, married to an Italian if you get what I mean they will just give you like a regular tourist visa now when you are married to an Italian they will also give you a tourist visa but it's specifically for like familiar familiar or something like that so meaning to say that you're going there with a tourist visa but as a family member of an Italian citizen I hope it did not confuse you there so if you guys hear that noise I'm not sure what it is. I hope it's not an ambulance. <laughs> so yeah, I hope I answered your question, Zippy Zippy. And they also asked, and if I apply for the visa when married, should I apply for multiple entry or single entry? The thing here is, when you get married to an Italian, you just apply for the visa, okay? Um, you can do single entry, multiple entry. I, I would do multiple entry just to be safe. Um, I think that's what I did. But what's gonna happen here is once you get to Italy, that's a time because your visa, if you don't apply for your permesso di soggiorno when you're in Italy and your visa expires, then you're in trouble because it's your job to actually apply for a permesso di soggiorno because the embassy will only give you a tourist visa, okay? It's not their job to give you the permesso di soggiorno or resident card. That's your job to apply here in Italy. If you have any questions more on that, um, and if something is not clear, please let me know by commenting on the below. Okay, and our next question now is, we have two more questions, and it is from... Oh my goodness, how do you say this? Ah, 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 a catalyst teacher. A catalyst teacher. <laughs> what degree have you both finished, and what's the uni? Okay, so this is like a really like different question. So I, and I really like these type of questions because it's a way for you to get to know us better or me better. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with these questions. So what degree did you finish? So for me, I'm actually an undergrad and I took the course BSHRM or uh, Hotel and Restaurant Management, but I did not finish it. Marco, he took something in the music industry. So yeah, that's why he plays the guitar really good because he really learned it and that's why he finished in yeah university. Our last question is from Dusa Cherry May. I hope I'm pronouncing all your names right and I'm, I'm really, really sorry if I'm not. What's the age gap between you two? So our age gap is four years. Um, I am 31 as of the moment and Marco is 35 and then yeah I'm turning 32 he's turning 36 so yeah that is our age gap and that ends our video our February Q&A for today guys it's getting darker because it's getting darker outside I think that these Q&A's are really really good idea just so that you guys can get to know us better and not just someone that you know just uploads a vlog and you don't really know you only know who they are because of that's what they show this q a i think is a really good idea like i said guys in the beginning i will upload the q a question or questionnaire or like a post on youtube and also instagram so that you can send in your march q a it's been a great video once again guys please keep safe please stay in your homes as much as possible as much as you can and always wash your hands i will see you guys on the next video bye for now